Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video, and we talk about a newly shown uh, Hot Toys figure. This isn't quite a newly shown one because uh, the full images haven't actually been released. However, along with the images for Thor, uh, there's a couple group shots that do showcase uh, Teen Groot extremely well. Um, he, like we can completely see the figure here, which is kind of unique. Usually, when they do something like this, the 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 other figure that's not actually out yet is kind of in the background. We can't see it like that well. Um, but here we just have like a completely perfect image of him. So uh, we actually get. To Two great images of Teen Groot, and uh, Teen Groot is one of the figures, one of the characters that I'm absolutely most looking forward to seeing in Infinity War, and was one that I was planning on purchasing the Hot Toys for. So seeing the figures, uh, seeing the figure uh, uh, like fully rendered here, I definitely wanted to make a video talking about him. So let's get started. Really love T uh, Groot. Love the fact that he's like changes ages throughout all the movies. I think Teen Groot uh, is an extremely fun one to do, and I'm really glad it, it wasn't just an end credit scene. We're actually, you know, getting Teen Groot for a full-length feature film, which is wonderful. As far as the figure is concerned, I think it looks great. He's very skinny and very uh, kind of uh, lengthy, uh, which, you know, it kind of gives him an awkward look, especially with the big head, which is uh, very much a, a signature of being a teenager. So I do love that uh, that, that awkwardness in his um, in his stature, which I think is very cool. So I'm a big fan of that. I do think that his articulation does look excellent as well, and his detail is wonderful. Um, this is something that Hot Toys like, isn't doing for the first time. Now they've done it with Adult Groot, and they've done Baby Groot, and they've done amazing texture and detail throughout both of those figures. I do have them both, and they're wonderful. So they've continued to do that excellent detail throughout this one as well, as you can see, which I absolutely love. As far as his face, I do, I like his face. I think that it's, it's a solid kind of mixture between the baby and adult Groot, and gives you that kind of in-between age-wise, uh, uh, you know, facial uh, features, which I do like quite a bit, like I said. Um, I wish that he had some more moss on his head. Like, it looked like he had more hair. That would be kind of funny. Uh, I think that that would kind of fit the teenage look a bit better, especially if he was, like, doing, kind of experimenting with the, the moss haircuts and stuff. That would be actually really funny and cool. But, um, yeah, and on some figures, it looks like he he has a lot of moss on his head, but on this Hot Toys one, I really don't see any at all, which is definitely a little bit disappointing. Um, his expression, however, is on point. I love it. It's very simple, but it's just perfect. He's just kind of got this, uh, it, the expression works in so many levels. Like, he just looks like he's so annoyed, like he doesn't want to be there, um, but he's going to kick some ass so that he can go back to playing games. You know, that that's what he looks like. Uh, so I love it. I think that he, he just looks excellent. I hope that he comes with a few expressions. Uh, so far, every group that's been released has had multiple expressions. Even the potted Groot, adult Groot, and um, and baby Groot have all come with at least two and sometimes three uh, different expressions. So I'm hoping that they continue that trend. If they don't. I will be disappointed, however, like, this head sculpt is perfect, so I wouldn't be devastated, but I'd be a little disappointed, so I hope that we get some other ones, maybe some even more, like, fiercely annoyed ones, that would be really cool. Um, as far as his accessories, so far we can see that he comes with a large blaster, this looks like it's the same blaster that the pop figure has, I do, I actually, I like the design of the blaster, I think it's very cool, it's very slick, and uh, it looks pretty perfect for him, I think it's safe to assume that he'll also come with uh, that kind of futuristic galactic phone that, uh, that both the pop and the Marvel Legends come with, uh, so I think that uh, that's definitely going to be an accessory for him. As far as other accessories, obviously you haven't seen him in action in the movie yet, however, um, the figure himself, uh, maybe one extra face sculpt, a gun, and then the phone, and then a base is, is pretty perfect, and of course an assortment of hands would be perfect for a teen Groot figure. Pricing is definitely something I want to talk about, considering the Avengers Infinity War figures that have gone on pre-order Thor and Iron Man have been priced extremely high and much higher than uh, Hot Toys' average rate for a figure of those caliber, and therefore I'm a little worried that that's going to continue with some of the other figures, including Teen Groot. Um, so far, the last Groot's, the adult Groot was $200, teen, or Baby Groot was at $190, both of which I think were a really good price, uh, to be honest. I think that they were actually really nicely priced. Um, so, Teen Groot is the smallest of them all because even Baby Groot is is rather thick. Like, Teen Groot here is very skinny and small. Um, so, he is actually smaller than both Adult and Baby Groot, and therefore, logically speaking, he should be around like 170. However, I understand that they're kind of raising prices, and therefore, maybe he should hit the $200 mark. So, if he's over 200, I'm definitely going to be very disappointed and, and a bit angry at that uh, at that 
price point because he's much smaller than your other Groots and 200 is still accounting for them raising prices. Uh, so I definitely don't want to see him anywhere near like 220. That would be ridiculous unless he comes with like some amazing huge accessories, which I, you know, is not going to happen. So I am expecting and uh, hoping for 190 to 200 and I will be disappointed if he breaks 200. I'll be very happy if he's 290 or less. So I, I would definitely uh, think that that's, uh, I would definitely appreciate that. So we'll have to see. I'm very excited for this Teen Groot figure though. Assuming that he's not like a, a ridiculous price that I just have to like make a stand about, um, I will be picking him up for sure. And then uh, as far as the rest of the Infinity War line goes, I don't think I'm going to go crazy with figures. Teen Groot is a must-have. Um, if Thanos is a maybe, uh, the thing that's holding me back on him is the rubber arms. I'm very disappointed about that. And then as far as the Black Order, there's no way they'll do them all. If they do one, like Corvus Glaive or maybe Proxima Midnight, I would definitely be very interested in one of those or maybe both of those. That would be super cool. But um, there's a good chance that they won't make any of the Black Order, so we'll have to see. But overall, that's my thoughts on the Hot Toys Teen Groot figure. Let me know what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.